guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today I'm gonna be doing a life update in a vlog style and I'm gonna be sharing a little morning routine except this is definitely not my morning routine I am trying to make it my morning routine though and I wanted to share a life update because so many things have happened so Without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. spring semester in 2021 January to May I already was having a hard time just with balancing being married working school social media all sorts of things and I dragged myself into the summer and finally made it and then fall semester came and I knew it was gonna be very difficult and I was just dreading it but I went in full force. I definitely feel like my mental health was starting to decline in like the end of September, October-ish time. I was just extremely burnt out. I've been burnt out before. I've had like a season of burnout before, but this one was very different. So I was starting to feel just extreme, extreme burnout. And then I had some issues at my job starting in October and that was not helping and all of my relationships were suffering. I just didn't want to be around anybody, didn't want to be social just because there was so many things I had to do and I'd rather just spend my time doing the things I had to do than hanging out with friends. Especially towards the end of October, I started crying three times a week maybe which was hard for Alec to deal with because I'm just always crying and he's always having to come for me but it definitely just kept getting worse and kept getting worse and I finally at the end of October and November decided something had to change I know that I loved my job and I loved going to school but God does not want me to suffer to do those things that I love. So I definitely started praying and considering what I needed to do because everything was declining and going bad around me. Don't paint me thankless, just have to say this. No, you doubt the way you move Lost in your fragrance Still makes me anxious it Doesn't feel right not knowing you You never show me or tell me the way that you're feeling Feeling, oh I never ask you the questions cause maybe I'm fearing parts of you that I'll never know I want to explain the situation I was at at the time that I was praying for a change because we Alec and I were in an apartment at that point we had been wanting to look at a house since April so it had been several months we were trying to build up our credit so that we would get approved for a loan 
So that's what we were working on and we were starting to look at houses. The only problem was I was really wanting to quit my job, but I couldn't quit my job until we got a house because they want you to have two years of an employment somewhere just to prove that you have steady income when you're buying a house, at least for the loan that we were trying to apply for. And I had to stay there until we got a house and that just was confining so i was praying and hoping for a house or maybe i just needed to quit and getting a house was just not the right timing i was also considering changing my major or dropping out of college i just didn't really know what i wanted to do as far as school wise but i just knew that i wasn't enjoying what I was doing and I didn't want to admit that to myself because I was a worship major so I feel like you should want to study worship. Lots of things were going into it as I was praying. I just didn't feel like there was an answer. There's so many decisions I had to make and I just did not know what to do. <laughs> Start your computations. After this inner turmoil of trying to figure out what I needed to do and what God was speaking, I decided the first step at least was to change my major. So I was a worship major as I mentioned and I had so much guilt in changing my major because I felt like that was a spiritual career and I felt like I should want to go to school for that. And I definitely feel like I've learned a lot in my time as a worship major, but I am very interested and passionate about media in my life right now, and I really wanted to learn more about it. So I decided to change my major to strategic communications, and then I had enough credits already to just get a music minor so i just added that on there i don't have to take any classes for it because i already took them and i do not have to stay in school any longer to finish i will still graduate on my anticipated time but i'm just taking things that are fun like in this next semester i'm taking marketing super stoked about that i think it's gonna be good and i'm just excited for it so that is what happened with my major now that i've changed it go back to talking about the house situation so in october november ish we started looking at houses and we kind of were getting pretty aggressive about looking at houses because i really needed to quit my job working at the eagle just was not working for me anymore so we started looking a lot and we did get a offer accepted on a house, I think in November. Yeah, it was in November. And we were really praying about it. It was in the country. And I just wanted to get in because I just wanted to quit my job. That's really what I was thinking about. And Alec felt a hesitation about it in his spirit. Just didn't feel right about it. And I was devastated because I just wanted to quit my job. But I trusted him, trusted him leading our two-person family. 
So we decided not to take that house and I had to come to a point with Jesus to where I was going to be okay if we didn't get a house because even if I had to stay at American Eagle or we just had to stay living in our apartment, I had to be content with that. And once I came to that just mindset, we had another offer accepted on a house. This one was in the city though. And we weren't actually looking as aggressively this time just because we had become content with a different plan. Whereas I might have to work at the Eagle or I might just quit and we had to wait two more years to take a house but we had become content with that decision and then we had this offer accepted on a house so we came to look at it a few times and pray over it and we just felt like it was the right one that somehow god had <laughs> provided for us at the very last minute this was towards the end of November. So we decided to go along with the house. And then in like the week after Thanksgiving with our loan, we had an issue with our tax return. Another story that's just annoying that we've had an issue with our tax return, but we still haven't gotten our 2020 tax return yet. And the loan was about to not go through because of that tax return issue and we came to Jesus again and we were like come on don't be playing us <laughs> in not a funny way in a serious way of we got this house we thought this is the deal we thought this is your will and now we might not get it because of the tax return issue and me and Alec just were crying and praying and all these different things and at the very last minute, and I'm not kidding you, 24 hours before our move-in day on December 4th, this was December 3rd, I was sitting at school looking at my phone and we got an email that they decided to do an exemption for the tax return issue and the loan went through and I was just so shocked. The entire process of us getting into the house that I'm standing in right now was just God's faithfulness, of course. And I just can't believe that we're here. It's just crazy. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why I'm down, yeah? No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage on blues, yeah, I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. The last part I wanted to share with you is just about my job. I have been working at American Eagle for two and a half years and I just was getting pretty burnt out when it comes to customer service. If you've ever worked in customer service or retail or food, it can be very draining. And I don't even think it was like the job itself or I definitely know it's not because of the people that I worked with, but it was just the waking up and going to school from 9 to 4 and then going to work from 4.30 to 9 is just not a healthy schedule and I just could not do it anymore and I had some issues with some of the management and all of that stuff. So I just decided that it was probably my time to go. Now we have a new adventure that we are on. I am going to be, I've already started actually, working for my grandparents' real estate company. And I'm just gonna be an office assistant kind of, where I'm gonna help them with a lot of their media things, just to like rebrand the whole company because a lot of their logos and websites were just made really quickly and they want it to be cohesive. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that and I'm going to be putting my future degree to use. So that's pretty fun. <laughs> but that is the update on my job. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys! Like who?